Stephen Jeanette. This Heart Health Month, we are talking about a major health problem affecting millions of Americans. Atrial fibrillation could lead to a stroke, but MedStar Washington Hospital Center is sharing how a Watchman device can help. And Dr. Edmund Shah joins us now with more. Dr. Shah, I appreciate you joining us this morning, and I think we need to get into the basics here to help us understand what is, a, what is the Watchman device and what does it do? Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Steve. You know, the Watchman device is a remarkable new device that simply protects our patients who um, have atrial fibrillation and are at risk for stroke. As you know, um, atrial fibrillation, or as you may not know, atrial fibrillation is a little bit of a sneaky heart rhythm. It um, can manifest itself really as palpitations or perhaps as a fluttering sensation in your chest. But when patients have that, they're at a five-fold increased risk of having a stroke. And so for that matter, we like to protect our patients from that stroke risk. And one of the most effective ways for us to do that is either with a blood thinner or with this new device called the Watchman device. And I think now, the question, the let me jump in just real quick because I, I wanted to uh, get some differentiation in there for folks who might uh, have questions about this. Um, it's a good advice, you're saying, for people who might want to avoid or should medically avoid the blood thinners. Who, who typically would fall into that category? Absolutely. So those patients who are taking blood thinners can be predisposed to having bleeding, for example, in the stomach. They may be at risk for falls. They may be at risk, for example, of performing some activities that would predispose them to having bleeding, for example, motorcycle, bike riding, skiing, some type of high-risk activities. Those patients may not be best served with a blood thinner long-term. And those are the patients we really do think about uh, for the Watchman device. Totally makes sense. And as far as the process, it's, I mean, it's not exactly outpatient here, but it's minimally, I guess, invasive for something that seems like it would be much more complicated. Absolutely. There's no cutting involved here. We take this device, which actually compresses into a little tiny catheter. We push that catheter into a blood vessel in the leg, and then we'll go ahead and do our work. It probably takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to do this case. Patients do stay overnight in the hospital more as a precaution. And after that, they get to go home. They're really not going to have any significant um, pain or difficulty after the procedure. The recovery is really remarkably fast and safe for our patients. And, and any restrictions then on the patient after the procedure? Sure. After the procedure, we do, there's a period of healing that occurs where we do put them on a light form of a blood thinner, typically for the first six weeks. But then after time, they just have to take a daily aspirin and really no significant re restrictions in terms of activities um, three or four days after the procedure. Well, I think it's absolutely fascinating research. I know there have been changes to make the Watchman device uh, even help even more people. I, I obviously encourage people to talk to their doctors, but uh, Dr. Shah, I do appreciate your time this morning joining us from Ed Star Washington Hospital Center. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much. All right, it is a month that we talk a lot about hearts, and we're.